Well, for many U.S. households, a bank account these days is a luxury. Frozen in cash-only transactions, they often live paycheck to paycheck and can't meet minimum balance requirements. So who are these so-called unbanked households and why are they locked out of the banking system? Tracy Tandon reports. When the majority of Americans use online banking systems and some even deposit checks using their cell phones, there are plenty of people who still live by cash alone. The number of people who don't have bank accounts is on the rise. According to data compiled by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, over 8% of American households do not have a bank account. That translates into roughly 17 million people who neither write checks or make savings deposits. The numbers are much higher among minorities. More than 20% of African Americans and Hispanics don't participate in the American banking system. Many consumers live paycheck to paycheck, with more than half earning less than 15000 a year. Daryl Newell is the director of consumer banking at Urban Partnership Bank. His company is a certified community development financial institution, which is an organization supported by the U.S. Treasury Department to help people get into the U.S. banking system. There are lots of reasons why individuals or folks have a preference not to use banks. It could be because they're unsure that they make enough money to pay the fees that are associated with accounts. It could be that, you know, um, you know, that feeling from living from paycheck to paycheck along with the identity hurdles you have to overcome when you open an account, you usually ask for all this identification. Alternative financial products certainly have their place, but I do believe if you're working with a bank, especially with today's technology, you know, the use of smartphones and your ability to do transactions, a lot less expensively, having access to information. It's really easy for an individual to do business with a bank. According to the FDIC, many non-banking households currently use alternative financial services such as payday loans, prepaid cards, and pawn shops. Now, these may all seem like a low-cost option on the surface, but companies providing these services actually charge much more fees than most banks do. Those that are currently unbanked say they want to open a bank account soon because the cost of living without one is far too high. Tracy Tandon, CCTV, Chicago.